Elijah, today you're trying five pairs of crepe. All right. And you're going to have to tell the difference between the most cheapest and the most expensive. It's all down to how you think it feels. All right, Elijah, walk towards me. There's a lot of heel slippage. Well, the feel, I'll give it a two. If there's premium leather, I would never know, so yeah. it doesn't make sense. It's not about sense. premium leather, not about any of that. It's well, that's clothes. where the money is, bro. It's yeah. suit you, though. You're a liar. Nah. <laughs> They're hella dead. You look good, mate. You look good. <laughs> one. A one? Don't ask questions. <laughs> Elijah, no touch. Why right, not? Because I know about the soul. You instantly know. Walk in right, the mind the dog food. It's not my shoes. I don't care. <laughs> These are not comfortable. 1.5. That's not happening. <laughs> ah! It's tech on point now. Like, these are comfy. Maybe like a three. Oh my days, what the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of a joke is this? No, no, it's getting 0 0.2 because it's clapped. We're going to reveal to you which crepe you rated, so from worst to best. So, Elijah? 0 0.2, I don't regret that score. You was accurate with this. I could tell instantly. Yeah. This next one, you rated a one. Yeah, but they're dead, though. I could tell. I didn't need to see them to know they were dead food. Next one, you rated a 1.5. You ready? You said these yeah. were dead. Amen. <laughs> I don't care, yo -G. I'm not listening, yo -G. I don't play that game. On, on the insult, I'm feeling all oh, of this. Oh, I didn't that see netting. that. Doesn't matter if it Kids. costs 250. Clearly, the price does not reflect the quality. And Obviously, it's not, it's not down to aesthetics. I put it on my foot and it didn't feel that great. Got a 1.5. All right, Elijah, you voted these in second place. Cool. So these ones, you rated a two. Two. So, you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Cool. Nelson? All right. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right. New balance. New balance. All right. Two, two four, four, seven, two, four, sports. seven, sport. Oh, what? Oh. That's Sway, you know what I mean? Maroon. All right, Eliza, this is it. Moment of truth. So we're going to see what you put as number one in our blind trader test challenge. They, they are pretty dead. <laughs> Listen, that... Hmm? Here we go. What? I, 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 I can't even say anything about it. Like, you know, it was my type. You said you were like, yeah, you were, you were bouncing on that. I was trying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you were always like, what are you? Yeah. <laughs> you guess, man. Like, how's it feel? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Liza, <laughs> 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 right, Liza, your top rated shoe, Meryl. You get to wear these home. Do you want to? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's your number one, then, huh? Yeah, that's oh. your number one. It's a big boy donut, a bespoke donut. We're just going to go <laughs> design a donut. What makes it as expensive as it is? Gold leaf, gold dust, real crystals. Would you like to go first and we can go and have a talk about what you'd like on your donut? Yeah. Cream. Ooh. So, mm. what's wrong about that? Well, Elijah well, can't touch it. No, I can't touch it. I mean, like coffee flavoured ice cream. Right. I like pecan kind of uh, like pralines and cream. I like all that stuff. What is wrong with all of it? <laughs> no, no, no. This is it's what you I love. No, yeah, but enjoy that. Like. Yeah. So, um, favourite donut you've ever had? Like there was a door injection, very thick. Raspberry jam, mm. pretty runny. How about um, chocolate, vanilla, that sort of thing? Like, this, this is pretty expensive. I'm not going to waste the money on vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a bit, it's, a bit, it's a bit basic. Could you do a super malt glaze? Ooh. Hey. It's all about bespoke service. <laughs> <laughs> do you like any other fillings in donuts apart from jam? Cinnamon. OK. I Cinnamon. like ginger. Good. All spice. So spicy kind of spices. <laughs> <laughs> That's a creation. Corn flakes make it look like the fried chicken. Yeah. Um, you've also got some burger sauce. What's the bone? Yeah, I want to know bone. about the bone. It was white yeah. chocolate yeah. finger, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, and the, the thing is filled with jam. Double oh. injection. Mm. That's brilliant. <laughs> presentation, this was on point. I would give that like 4.7. 4.7, I give that one. I'll give it a four because I live that lifestyle. I'm going to show you a look behind the scenes with some VIP guests. Going to make a little title track for the series. Then, as always, I'm going to rate it. Got a couple guys coming down.
bangers. Should be live. Yo, 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 yo. How are you doing? What are you saying, man? You good, good? man? Yeah, man good. Ready for some action? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, you could take the throne there. So what, what kind of sound you want to go for? I want it to sound sick. <laughs> like, what a banger. Mm, where's the mic? Where's the mic? That's <laughs> <We're so> ready. <laughs> one, two, one, two. Yo, yo! Oh, this is coming great. Callum Scott. Okay, oh, what are you saying? You bless you. Pang Life, you already know. Mm -hmm. Just do the magic, you know. The <laughs> you know, all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, Something like that. Get the roof fix off, you know? Gus! What's going on, brother? Yeah. Guess who I've got with me? The big dog! Ow, ow! Yo, Yo, guys! We're gonna make bangers. Pew, pew. What's the noise you make? Pew. Drop the bomb, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I don't say that around me, but it's fine. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Bomb. Show us the banger, come on. All right, right now. Mm. We're about to get into this. Hey. From YouTube to Channel 4, the man them upgraded. Peng like. Have a slice. Oh, no, 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 please. You got the sauce, kid. Oh, thanks, man. Sauce. Thank you. Um, I was eating that bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Woo. you want that? Yeah. Give me that sauce. Three, yeah. Two, one. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> got vibing in the booth. Oh, the, okay. <laughs> Time to rate and review. So what do you think of the tune, bro? I'm the tune bangs. But to check out some watches with bespoke jewelry expert Chifa Apia, aka the Bust Down King, and Queen of the Countdown Clock, Rachel Riley. Gotta try a little price challenge, rate things proper. Ooh. I'm gonna pick out three watches mm -hmm. and I want you to tell me which one is the most expensive to the least expensive. Mm. Okay. Listen, my wrist is ready <laughs> for a clean cuff. <laughs> Come on. I specialise in bespoke jewellery. Anything from a wedding ring to a chain. Yeah. To a dog leash. So oh. <laughs> I've done jewellery for Fabulous and Jada Kiss. Oh. Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Oh. yeah. What are your favourite watch brands? Rolex. Yeah. Oh, Rolex. Yeah. Oh, Rolex. Yeah. Yeah. Jaeger Lacoutre. Oh. Oh. Once again, put the accent on it. Jaja Le Coudre. You got any cheeky pieces to show us today? Yeah, yeah of course. I couldn't leave you lot. Yeah, obviously. Like that. Oh. Hey. Oh. That's like an armband. She's <laughs> shining. Shining, bitch. You see this watch here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was selling for 26 grand. And now this watch is worth 34,000 pounds. You think you're so good with numbers? Cheese. How much is it appreciated? Mm. Almost. Two. Three. 30 odd percent. Four. Dun, 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 dun. I, I, don't, I can't remember the countdown. It's been way, way. I'm going to pick out three watches mm -hmm. and I want you to tell me which one is the most expensive to the least expensive. Mm, okay. This is an Audemars Piquet Royal Oak, fully diamond encrusted. Done by who? The Bust Down King. <laughs> ah! Bust Down! Hey! This is an Audemars Piquet offshore. Can have your ex calling you tomorrow, cuz. <laughs> this is a date just two. Mm. This watch, stainless steel, is simple but very effective. Come on, stainless steel, that's the same as my pots in, in my kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds don't actually appreciate that much. much. As soon as you buy it, yeah, you can take it back. It's flashy, it's flashy but, it's, but it's not peas like that. This is a full rose gold thing. This mm. one, Paper. the AP. So that's your final answer, yeah? 100%. You know what? You're right. Hey! My God! This is 35 grand. Oh, yeah. wow. And this is 50 grand. 50! 
I would not have guessed Major that. Major Bagala! Major Bagala! Which is your favourite? This is my favourite, just because I know that I, my money is safe. So if there was a... True. But if I want to land... Open doors. This is True. the one. So if your house is on fire and you can only take one? This one. <laughs> I like to compare myself with stuff that I can buy day to day. Right. So I like super malt, mm. and the super malt retails at one pound nineteen right. in a shop. How many can I buy? Because that's fifty <laughs> grand. <laughs> du, 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 du. Du. Almost, well, almost forty-two thousand, as I thought. Whoa! Imagine a life without that many super malt. <laughs> The only one flaw I will say on this watch is the date is wrong. Oh. oh. It came out the Come same. Come on. Chief, 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 it should be Chief. ready. It should Chief. be ready. Come on. Chief. It's on display Chief. for the world to see. The world. Bust down King Mud. Rachel, say it. Bust down King Mud. Yes. Yes. It's pretty sick. It's always been cars. Yeah? What are you doing over there, mate? You know, having that cheeky ring. Mate, you can't have chicken in a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Do you know how much this leather costs? Do not get this greasy. What kind of leather is this? So this is very fine, dead Italian cow leather. OK. Uh, and it probably costs somewhere in the region of about £5,000. <laughs> We're getting some temperature into the tyres now. Yeah. <laughs> I think, in all honesty, I'm not very far off throwing up. He's not looking very happy. You know what I mean? oh. <laughs> think, think we went a bit too far. Did you just puke? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> right, should we go to the Mazda? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go and see what the Mazda say. Lambo, park yourself. Cheese. All right, all right. You can't see anything out the back. I know. Look how fat the back is. Because its ass is so wide. No, they're going to hit. You're going to hit it. Sorted. Done. Well, I think that's utterly rubbish, what? really. <laughs> Yeah, no. Most expensive kebab in the world. Mm. Take a guess. 50 pounds. No, higher. 150, 500. Higher. Abomination. <laughs> 925 pounds for a kebab. Set up! Set up! Now we're in Canary Wolf. Canary Wolf. Gonna try out some 1,000 pound kebabs. For the royal kebab, we try to choose only the best ingredients. What's the most expensive vinegar? It costs 185 pounds per this small bottle. Wow. Must, must. Take two, two shots. We have Wagyu beef. It's going to melt in your mouth. Uh, one last thing. What's the secret ingredient? Do you know what is it? Can you smell it? Bay leaf. <laughs> Mint. Strong stuff, you know. So here we have the royal kebab bars. The salad is looking very fruity. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. It goes together well. well. Mm. You know what? As nice as it is, I am finding it hard. The, the flavors are too bland. Bland. Like grilled. And eat burger sauce. Boss, you have you have some burger sauce on you? No, uh, no burger sauce. Chili? All right. Oh, I'm gonna taste the chili. Go on. Okay. Woo! Mmm. That's got to be one of the best. Bring it little pot, I'm gonna take this home. Mouth watering. I want more. Mate, mm -hmm. I'm coming back. Starting off with the one we had earlier. The lamb in that thing, serious. You See, take a bite and you know no, what okay. okay, the assembly wasn't as tight as it could have been. This one nicely wrapped. Oh. Flavors wise though, ting was peng. Booming. It was pretty decent. I'll give it a four. And then there was this thing. This thing was a madness. If, if, if you're a vegan or one of them man who eat leaf on a daily, 
The salad here exactly. bangs. Shout out Bugs Bunny and them man. All of that. Okay, the kufte. The kufte. The kufte. You can taste the seasoning in there. Spice level in. Mm. But the chili. The chili. That thing, refreshing. Clean the plate. Mm. Techers. Be on that plate. Trust me. I'd rate it like 4.1. It just made it over Wait, because right. of that chili sauce.